you been doing? Me dig up grave. What? Me find outlaws in cabin. In back of cabin, me find new grave. Look. What about it? Look close, Kimasami. That best on man in grave. A woman. The sun faded the cloth except where he wore his badge. I'm beginning to understand. The man you found was a federal marshal named Mason. Silky Carter almost got away with his double masquerade. You find Silky? Yes, I found him. Then we take him to Sheriff. No, it's not that easy, Tenno. We've got to make him lead us to the money. Did the men in the cabin see you? No. Good. I've got a plan. Listen closely. Good morning. Howdy. What happened, Mason? They made silky talk. One of Hagen's men reported in last night. They're going after the money now, somewhere near Twin Rocks. Hagen's on foot. It can't be far. It isn't far. Say, where's the Indian? Well, he isn't here. We can wait if you think we can't handle this. No, we can't wait. Come on. Here they come. Let's go, but don't look back. Like he says, you're covered on all sides. What's the idea, Mason? And the boys in the pen said you were smart. I'm not Mason. Who are you? The man you've been looking for, you fool. Silky Carter. Shall I take that mask off? Now, wait a minute. Don't start anything till we got the dough. We're too close to the way station. That don't mean I won't shoot if I have to. You'll never get away with this, Carter. With you helping me, how can I miss? You're going to do some dirty work before I have the pleasure of taking off that mask. Keep him covered. Yeah, grab this pick. Yeah, you're gonna dig for money and dig your own grave at the same time. All right, start digging. You sure this is the right place? You don't think I'd forget, do you? You hit something. We've got it. Of course we got it. Come on, keep digging. All right, not one of you move. Drop your guns. I'll shoot the first one of you who tries anything. Say, what is this, a double cross? What did you expect, you fool? Listen, Silk, you can't do this to me. Who else wants to try? Oh, well, you're even dumber than this masked man here, thinking I'd split with you, you double crossing skunk. Silky, you walked into a trap. Yeah, if this is a trap, it's the kind I like. You're trapped like you were years ago on Thunder Mountain. What are you talking about? The sheriff from Kingston is on his way here now. He telegraphed the law in Sandville to close the road at that end. You're bluffing. I wasn't bluffing last night when I sent Pedro for the sheriff. You're crazy. You didn't even know who I was last night. I knew, Silky. But I had to hold off to let you lead me to the money. You're lying. It's the last lie you'll ever... Work, Tano. We'll tie them up and take them to the way station. This is as far as we're going, Ted. I wouldn't be so sure. Hello, Sheriff. Well, I'm certainly glad to see you, Sheriff. This man jumped me in the woods last night and made me say that I killed Judge Scoville. Why, how can anyone make you say a thing like that? Well, wouldn't you with a gun in your ribs? I'd have confessed the murder of Abraham Lincoln to get away from this madman. He told me his father put Meredith's gun beside Scoville. <laughs> now, you know how ridiculous this story is. You know my father. You know he'd never do a thing like that. Well, suppose we all go have a talk with your father. Yes, suppose we do. My father inside, Letty? No, he ain't. Got any idea where he could be, Letty? It's important. No, I haven't. I'll take Ted back to town and hold him. Hold me? Hold me for what? 
I'm not making any charges, Ted. I just want to hold you till your father gets back. I've told you, this man pulled a gun on me and made me say I killed the judge. I've told you it's ridiculous. You can tell him that at the trial. What trial? The trial is taking place this afternoon. Mr. Latham comes back. Would you tell him to go right over to the sheriff's office? Yes, I will. Oh, Mr. Latham! Letty, what's wrong here? It's Teddy. They've taken him off to jail. What? Your son confessed to me last night that he murdered Judge Scoville. Oh, no. I did all I could to protect him. But Teddy didn't kill the judge. He said he didn't. He told the sheriff right in front of me that this man pulled a gun and made him say he did it. But he didn't do it. I take his word any day against this. Damn it. Stop your bawling, Letty. But Teddy in jail. I know. I can't believe it myself. Now that it's your boy that's in trouble, I imagine you're glad Tano's bringing back the judge. But he isn't. He isn't. He never got to Boonville. I headed him off. You see, this is my country, not your Indian friends. And I knew all the shortcuts. But I, uh, I wanted to save my boy. I, th I thought I could do it, too, if I could stop your friend from bringing the judge. But now that Teddy's confessed to you, why, there's nothing more I can do. So I guess you might as well go and let your friend loose. He's tied up in a cabin not too far from here. Where exactly? Well, it's right up. Oh, I better go with you. Doubt if you could locate it. Mr. Latham. Yeah? Would you mind leaving your gun here? Oh, why, sure. Here you are, Letty. You're not going to take your gun? No. Oh, I won't need it. Shall we go? Still out. These knots are pretty tight. Have you got a knife? Yes. Hello. You all right? Me all right, I guess. Think you could ride to Boonville? Ah, me ride. That man who hit me on the head and stopped me? Yes. Now he stopped.